Roy is a graduate of the Aimpoint Academy. The self-confessed magnification addict has been to rehab and is coming out the other side. You do go back to type to start with. And then, you know, halfway through you're thinking, okay, no, let's try and concentrate on the breathing and come up. And, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's, uh... However, to complete his therapy, he needs to use Aimpoint sites in the field, or rather the dense Swedish forest in the south of the country and at a driven shoot an hour north. You're okay to load and you're okay to shoot. Roy first checks the Zauer 404 at the underground range. That looks good. Now we're off to find what's known here as a capital fallow. We've got four days to do it and the countdown has begun. Uh, it doesn't look good so far normally. Eric was saying when you come up over this brow, you can normally see up to 100 deer filtering through, feeding through the forest here. So <laughs> we've come out and so far we are drawing a blank. This vast, fertile farming estate has offered Roy the chance of a trophy buck. But time is against us. The fallow season is suspended during the rut to give the animals some peace to do their thing, meaning we only have a few days to find the right animal or Roy doesn't pull the trigger. Eric is going to be our guide. In order to take a shot, it's going to be from, say, 20 to 50 metres, an inside dense forest. So we're going to be low on the ground and trying to, to, to really stalk in. So we're going to use our binos a lot to see all the game and see the buck himself. And then, of course, we're going to then use the aim point. And that's going to be a, probably a really quick scenario for you. One thing is for sure, it is not going to be easy. There is a healthy population of roe, fallow and boar, all on the lookout for danger. Stay still, David. It's vital to stay vigilant. Every few paces we stop and glass, stop and glass. A nice buck with a limp clocks us and we are still hundreds of metres from the honeypot of the rutting stand. We know there are plenty of worker bees between us and the mature bucks. We spend hours working our way into the forest, working the wind only to see all our efforts evaporate with a spooked animal. Of course the easiest thing to do is blame the cameraman, though in this case it is justified. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to let everybody in on what's going on, David took a new camera out this morning when we were in on the rutting stand and you'll probably see shots, superb shots, of a buck looking at you pretty much like that and a doe doing the same thing. She was a little bit startled. And the reason being, we've now discovered, it's got a massive red flashing light on the top of it, which is the laser that it's using for focusing. So we know that we've got at least two blind deer in here that we should be able to come up on. <laughs> That's fine with you. <laughs> Clearly, three days of stalking has taken its toll with hysteria setting in. This really is cutting it fine. We even start looking at the open ground where the bucks have been filmed clashing, but it wouldn't be the same. We came to try and stalk into the rutting stand and that's what we're going to do. This is it, we are pretty much last chance today. We're going to head back into the rutting stand. 
there are so many sets of eyes and just trying to target one specific animal we're really having to work hard to get in there so whether or not we can do it tonight we shall see here it goes It takes an hour to go 25 yards. We just crawled in through all the muck and rubbish and as you can see the, uh, <laughs> the my my rifle that has been very kindly lent to me over here is a bit filthy and the, the scope's a little bit um, mucked up as well but um, you know, luckily we had the caps down as we were crawling in. We got in here and then we just looked to our left and a, a nice buck was just coming in over the top of us and he, as he came round us he just made us so it was just a case of quickly trying to get the rifle up we got the rifle shouldered um, up onto the chest and squeezed. Um, and again, the, the sight worked beautifully, absolutely superb. Yeah, he wasn't very far away. It was um, a very, very quick shot. We didn't have the time because he was already on top of us. Another few seconds, he would have made us and lifted everybody and the whole, the, uh, the whole place would have been done. And that was our, pretty much our last opportunity. So it was last chance saloon, but uh, yeah, superb fun. It really, really did work well. Uh, he's a nice boy. He's got some weight to him. What had actually happened with this boy, I think he'd left when we initially came in, but we spent so long crawling in, he was trickling back into the rutting stand. So, yeah, no, it was uh, incredibly lucky. You know, this whole area is just a, a stunning rutting stand, but just one of the hardest, hardest rutting stands I've ever had to try and get into. Um, but incredibly rewarding once you finally get one. I've never worked so hard for a fallow buck. That was uh, superb fun. And uh, as I say, you just look through here and it is just devastation where the rut has started. I can't imagine what it's going to be like in a, a week or two's time when it's in full swing. It'd just be superb in here. The dogs will have Kevlar vests in, in uh, yellow and orange, so they are quite easy to see. Roy's I mean, Swedish adventure like, does like not this, stop this, here. This, Next, we are taking nice part stand. in a driven hunt with the um, hope of boar. Roy is joined by Academy Director um, Eric Ars, who will also be shooting today and making sure Roy hasn't forgotten his words of wisdom. With the briefing complete, Roy takes the stand. We've kindly been invited out to a driven port hunt today with um, a few of the team from Aim Point. And um, I'm hoping I keep up the British side, though uh, we can't afford for any misses. We'll just have to see how we do, but we've got quite a different sort of variety of game in here so it should be a bit of fun the one thing i've got to remember is don't shoot moose so um yeah no, they said that anything can pass through but we're allowed roe deer fallow wild boar fox and badger no badger will be quite interesting to have some driven badger but i doubt we'll see one but um, it should be a giggle Roy has limited driven experience but enough for him to feel this is something we should be encouraging in the uk if you've never done it, it is um, definitely one to tick off the bucket list. It is brilliant fun. And then, yeah, as I say, I've only, I've only done it probably once before. And obviously on the training days, but yeah, the, the feeling you're getting before is good. So. 15 minutes into the drive and we spot, not a boar, but a fox, Roy's old sparring partner. The shot cam picks it up beautifully and Roy makes no mistake. Okay. 
boar do make an appearance, but they are too high on the ridge for a safe shot or too deep in the undergrowth for a clear shot. Absolutely typical. The first thing that runs past is my good old friend Charlie. Well, luckily we got that one. We've seen a couple of pigs run through the top and there was also a road out that came down that we couldn't shoot because there was a movement behind it and I think it was a dog behind. So we've just got to be quite careful here because there's a lot of rocks. So you just want to make sure that everything is well clear and waiting for them to come down into this little banking here. And then we've got some nice safe shooting here because it's quite thick and scrubby. So again, it's just making sure that we've got proper identification. And then we can hopefully have a bit of fun. The beaters and dogs work incredibly hard to make the drive work, but in our part of the forest, it's a fox and a single boar. The sun is shining, but we've just received radio contact that the drive is over, so we shall pack up our stuff and go away. Now, we saw a few boar going up over the top, but unfortunately nothing presented a, a good shot, so at least we've got a fox. But we've had a fantastic trip, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully we'll get an invite back to Sweden to uh, come and have another go for the pigs. It's the climax of Roy's trip to Sweden with Aimpoint, and as long as he keeps taking the pills, his magnification addiction will soon be replaced by seeing red dots in front of his eyes. For more information about Aimpoint sites, go to aimpoint.com.